November 2010 and I was at Coonalda Homestead. For some unknown reason, I decided to travel along the old air highway to the border before taking in Eucla and ending the day beyond Maduro. This I can only assume was the drop toilet. It's the hole on the floor, and a chair with a rubber tyre to make it soft to sit upon. This little hut actually has a visitor's book, and uh, I'd assume, obviously, some people have actually camped in here. It would seem that Canal de Cave is about another six kilometres further up the road, so we're going to go on Abba Bay Peep until we can find. There is another cave just up the road out here, but I don't know whether that's listed or not. Great that the National Park have left the place pretty much as it is. Really good. It's a nice piece of our heritage that uh, has been kept. As long as we don't get idiots coming out and wanting to write all over everything and pull things apart and all that sort of thing. Just off to the side here, as we come up here, there's another shed that I didn't know about. Of course, it's a big property, so that's likely to be anything here. This is obviously an old shearing shed or something like that. About four kilometres further in now, and uh, about 1.8 kilometres apparently to where the cave is. Lola is littered with caves, of course. There are tracks running to other little caves on the property. So if you come out here, you can explore. 
Let's be careful with them. This is interesting, this is the first hint of a dip in the countryside. It's all been dead flat till now. Now there's a little dip in the road. Just around the corner here is the Canal de Cove. The cave is fenced off, it's fenced off for a reason. Get too close and you can go in. Or it could crumble underneath you. You need the permission of the department to go in there. And I would imagine you'd have to be an experienced cave diver before they'd let you go. And now we're back at the homestead. Driving between the cars and... This place is a real experience. Sure, it's 14k off the road, but it is well worth taking the time to come out here and have a look. Okay, I've decided in the spirit of the moment, instead of going back to the main road. We'll take the old air highway for a while. See, it's only used by, again, enthusiasts, I suppose, but there's the white post on either side of the road. I have no idea what that is, but it's a whole heap of solar panels. really helps when you've got the camera on steady shot as opposed to uh, not. It's just saying we're 14 and a half K from Canal to Homestead at the moment. We're heading towards Water Village. And the West Australian border. This is what the road looks like. And it's uh, 
hard to imagine that this used to be the main road between Gorsman and St. Juno. This particular section of road uh, starts from our Porter Village and finishes at Nullarbor Roadhouse. According to my mapping, Something I find rather extraordinary. Look on the right hand side of the picture. There's not a lot of vegetation other than grass, the odd tree. You look at the left hand side, and grass, and there's a lot of trees and a lot of vegetation. The only difference is the dividing factor is the track. It's interesting stuff. These white posts, like the one you see on the left hand side there, they are markers for Optus fibre cable, fibre optic cable. So they've laid their fibre optic, optic cable along the old air highway. It's not a bad idea, I suppose, because you use the air highway then as your uh, service road if you need to. I have to say I'm amazed at how good the condition of these roads are, or the, the condition of this road is, considering the age of it. But then, I suppose the other aspect of it, of course, is that it's not got the traffic over it now. So therefore, it won't be as bad as what it would be if there was traffic over it every day of the week and trucks and all that sort of thing as well. So. It's almost as though it's settled down and there might be one or two cars a day at the most in the I say a day because it looks to me as though this track has been travelled from not that long ago. Um, and it could be uh, cars from the, uh, yeah, the Nullabore the, the, the uh, people. Or it could well be just enthusiasts such as myself who want to get out here and experience what the old track's all about. But yeah, the, uh, I've come across a number of times bobtail goannas or blue tongue lizards or whatever you want to call them and uh, generally travelling in twos, pairs. Crossing the road. That's a road heading back to the main highway. So you can see it doesn't get a lot of use. We're approaching the road that I went down to get back to the highway in January. Roads up to the left because, of course, I'm travelling west now, or I was travelling east at that time. There it is. where we've come this morning. The flashing thing is where we are right now.
We are right on the crossroads of where I first came down here off the main highway. There's a tower marked on the map, and the tower is right behind us. We're going to continue on right to the border now. We're going to get going down that road until we reach the border. That's where the green finishes. There you go, Jason. This bit of video is on the Old Air Highway uh, near the West Australian border. That's what it looks like out there. And then on map send, there it is. That's where we are. We're now the last few kilometres of this stretch of the old air highway. As we're going now, the pitchman is directly ahead of us. Been quite a pleasant morning. And early afternoon, I might say it's 22 minutes past one. Despite the fact that we haven't got much over 40 or maybe 50k at the absolute most, currently doing about 30 through here, um, the time has actually gone through quite quickly. Any fanfare at all, we're back on the main road. So that was eighty six kilometres. And there's absolutely nothing there to tell you that's the old air highway. So it actually starts right opposite. Checkpoint. Twelve cents a litre cheaper here than what it is back at Nullarbor. Oh, no, we've just been through the uh, quarantine check at uh, the border. Now back in Western Australia.
e claro. Oh, wait a minute, where am I going? Right down to the old telegraph station. Beautiful blue ocean this morning. What's afternoon? Today. Edward John Air, Baxter, Wiley, Joey, Yarra. The Martonian 41 camped in this vicinity during this 1500 kilometre journey from Fowler's Bay to Albany. In this particular site also there's a little memorial here dedicated to the memory of David John Meek and Troy Roxley Forbes. 
see. And also an honour and memory of those that served and lost their lives, sacrificed their lives in all wars and conflicts. Lovely place to have a memorial memorial looking down over that beautiful ocean down there. The cross is dedicated to all Christians and to those who made this highway and the way in the in the memory of Mr. Steve, and it appears that Steve was a new Euclid pioneer. Coming down Euclid Pass. Nice view right out to the ocean. 68 to Mundrabilla, 182 to Majira. Might get there tonight. It's uh, just check the time, it's 4.40 in South Australia. <laughs> two o'clock, ten past two here in WA now. They have a three-quarter hour thing over here, so uh, I suppose it's actually about 10 to 3 or something rather than like that central time. This western time actually goes through Meriden. Which is just a bit far away from here. Dollar fifty-four for fuel at Euclid. Uh, there's a dollar sixty-seven point nine. The water, a dollar seventy nine point nine at Nullable. There really should be something done about it. Twenty five cents a litre is ridiculous. It's interesting when you look at motorcyclists down here, it looks as though they've got no heads. They pull them in, pull their necks in, look like turtles. The Jira Pass, and uh, we'll call in here and grab some unleaded for the uh, for the generator. And we might see if we can head out towards the cave and camp out there tonight. Just watch the diesel pricing. And seven two. If you enjoyed this video, there are over 500 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when the next video is available. If you liked this video, hit the like button and feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.